Operation Silent Watch, a sniper's duty. I, Sergeant First Class Kyle Hawkeye Pierce, checked my Remington MSR. I meticulously cleaned the barrel, the scent of gun oil familiar. My crosshairs, usually steady, trembled slightly. Tonight's mission was different. High stakes. Operation Silent Watch. My target. General Petrov, the newly self-proclaimed leader of a rogue nation. I reviewed the mission briefing. Satellite images, floor plans, escape routes. Petrov, a ruthless dictator, posed a significant threat to the United States. Eliminating him was deemed necessary. The weight of the free world rested on my shoulders. I was no stranger to pressure, but this felt different. This felt personal. Nightfall. I infiltrated the heavily guarded compound. I moved like a phantom, silent and deadly. My senses were on high alert. Every rustle of leaves, every creak of floorboards sent adrenaline coursing through my veins. I was a ghost, a whisper of death in the night. My target was close. In the crosshairs, the approach, I reached my vantage point, a clock tower overlooking Petrov's opulent mansion. I set up my rifle, the cold steel a familiar comfort, nigh heart hammered against my ribs. I could almost taste the tension in the air. I peered through his scope. The world narrowed to a pinpoint. I spotted Petrov through the window, sitting alone. The man was a silhouette, oblivious to the danger lurking in the shadows. I inhaled, held my breath. My finger rested on the trigger. I was a predator, about to strike. This was it. I hesitated. Something felt off. The air grew heavy, charged with an unseen energy. An icy chill ran down my spine. I shook it off. Nerves. I was a trained professional. I had a job to do. I took another breath, steadied myself. Just as I was about to squeeze the trigger, a cold mist poured into the room. It swirled around Petrov, obscuring him from view. My blood ran cold. What the hell was this? I had never seen anything like it. This was not part of the plan. Target vanished ghostly apparition. The mist coalesced, taking the form of a woman. She was ethereal, shimmering, her features blurred and indistinct. Her eyes, however, were piercing, burning with a cold, otherworldly fire. I stared, my finger frozen on the trigger. I couldn't breathe, couldn't move. The ghostly woman turned, her vacant eyes locking onto me. A silent scream escaped her lips, a soul-wrenching sound that seemed to pierce through me. Terror, raw and primal, gripped him. I was paralyzed, a rabbit caught in the headlights of an oncoming train. The woman drifted towards the window, passing through the wall as if it wasn't there. She paused, her eyes boring into me, a silent accusation burning in their depths. Then she vanished into thin air, leaving behind a chilling silence. I was alone. Petrov was gone. Pause 3S. Fate's interference destined protection. In the silence that followed, a new thought began to creep into my mind. What if Petrov was not meant to die? What if he had some sort of guardian angel, a spectral protector that intervened that night? The apparition's haunting gaze and her silent scream seemed to carry a message, a warning perhaps. Could it be that Petrov was destined for something greater, to be the next leader? The idea seemed absurd, yet it gnawed at me. The ghostly woman's intervention felt deliberate, purposeful. Maybe she had saved him, believing in a future that I couldn't foresee. I replayed the scene in my mind, over and over, trying to make sense of it. The more I thought about it, the more convinced I became that fate had intervened. This wasn't just a failed mission, it was a sign. A sign that some forces beyond my understanding were at play. Forces that had chosen to protect Petrov for reasons I could only speculate about. The weight of this realization settled heavily on my shoulders. If Petrov was indeed destined to become the next leader, then my mission was not just a failure. It was a turning point in a story much larger than me. I had to find out more, understand why this had happened, and most importantly, what it meant for the future. Because in that moment, I knew that my duty had shifted. It was no longer just about completing a mission. It was about uncovering the truth behind that ghostly apparition and the fate of the man she protected. Pause 3S. With a deep breath, I made a silent vow. I would uncover the truth, no matter where it led me, even if it meant facing more ghosts along the way. Sanity's edge. Denial and fear. 
I lowered my rifle, his hands shaking uncontrollably. I felt sick, nauseous. What had I just witnessed? Was it real? I had imagined the whole thing. I was a soldier, a trained killer not prone to hallucinations. Yet I couldn't deny what I had seen. I scanned the room again, my heart pounding. Petrov was gone, vanished. The room was empty, devoid of life except for me and the lingering chill in the air. I was alone with my own thoughts. Thoughts that spun in my head a chaotic mess of fear and disbelief. I had to report this, but what would I say? That his target had been spirited away by a ghost? They would think I'm crazy. Dishonorably discharge me, locking me in a mental institution. I couldn't tell them the truth, I couldn't afford to. Whispers of doubt, a secret buried deep. I packed up my gear, my movements mechanical. My mind raced, trying to make sense of the impossible. I had never believed in ghosts, in the supernatural. Now I wasn't so sure. The encounter had shaken me to the core, leaving me questioning everything I thought I knew. I exfiltrated the compound, melting back into the night. I moved with practiced ease, but the fear lingered, a cold knot in my gut. I had failed my mission, but for the first time in my career, I felt a strange sense of relief. I had been spared, but at what cost? The mission was classified. No one could ever know what truly transpired that night. I would bury the secret deep inside, lock it away in the darkest recesses of my mind. I would tell them Petrov was gone, that he had missed his opportunity. It was a lie I could live with, a lie I had to tell. Scars unseen, the ghost's lingering presence. I returned to duty, but I was a changed man. The encounter had left an indelible mark on my soul. I couldn't shake the feeling of being watched, of unseen eyes following Mu every move. Sleep offered no escape, haunted by nightmares of the ghostly woman and her piercing gaze. The precision and focus that had once defined me as a sniper were gone. I was plagued by doubts, my hands trembling, my aim unsteady. I was a shell of my former self, the fear and guilt eating away at me from the inside out. I tried to forget, to bury myself in his work, but the memory of that night lingered. The chilling scream of the ghostly woman echoed in my ears. The image of her sorrowful eyes burned behind my eyelids. I was a prisoner in my own mind, haunted by a secret I couldn't share. Mission abandoned, a haunted past. Years passed. I left the service, but the memory of that night never left me. I avoided anything that reminded myself of my past life. The nightmares a constant reminder of my encounter with the supernatural. The mission remained a classified secret. A ghost story whispered among the top brass. The abandoned mansion, shrouded in rumors and local legends, became a symbol of my trauma. I knew what lurked within its walls a truth too terrifying to share. I had stared into the abyss, and the abyss had stared back. I never returned to that place, to the scene of his haunting. The ghost of that night, the woman in black with her sorrowful eyes, remained etched in my memory. A chilling reminder of the night I came face to face with the unknown and lived to tell the tale. A tale he would take to my grave, 